Meg, given your experience with China and censorship, I'm curious if you could elaborate on um, what you think the effects are to this crisis of China's expulsion of Western journalists. Well, um, unfortunately, journalists have become a sort of a byproduct of this tit for tat issue between U.S. and China that has been going on for some time. Um, and so, for ex bef the whole reason for the expulsion, it didn't happen in in a, in, in a vacuum. So, at one point, um, I think it began when um, China uh, had designated. No, sorry, the U.S. had designated Chinese reporters here working for outlets like um, CGT and CCTV as foreign missions and required them to register as foreign entities. And then that led to um, the China bouncing out several Wall Street Journal reporters, uh, supposedly over an op-ed, which, by the way, had a very racist headline. It was called, China is China the sick man of Asia? Uh, has very racist connotations in Asia. And, but that was just an excuse, I think it was seen as. And then um, at some point, the US um, also had some issues with uh, pulling back some of these visas for Chinese journalists in the US. And that led to the expulsion of the journalists and um, from the US. Now, what does all this back and forth mean? I mean, I think that in some sense, uh, this you know stems back from some policies with regards to treatment of China now. Um, we seem to have a very hawkish um, White House with regards to treating China as the enemy and um, as the, um, you know, the, 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 a, a hostile force that will be increasingly needed to be contended with and contained, you know, whether it be everything from 5G and Huawei to, uh, you know, green card issues, visas and uh, spying and, um, but the problem with that, of course, is that the journalists who actually work for U.S. entities are not, you know, agents of the U.S. government. And that's a distinction that is a problem because we have actually had some of our best reporting and our best knowledge of what's going on in China from these guys. And now we don't have them anymore. And what we sacrifice for that in exchange is maybe withdrawing some visas from um, Chinese journalists here who suddenly were making as much of an impact in terms of the newsworthiness. So I think we have lost out. The world has lost out because we don't know what's going on now. Um, I mean, for example, Chinese casualties now, China claims that the number of people killed by COVID virus is like 5,000. We've got like 50,000 here. Which one has the bigger population? Um, what's not being told there? Um, these are all questions that we need to be well investigated by the smartest and the brightest and the most well-trained. And now we don't have them anymore. Right. Um, Daniel, do you want to respond? And if not, I do have another question queued up for you. Yeah, one thing I would say is that uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, he actually did say, he's, he almost apologized. He said that he got it wrong and that uh, they didn't expect uh, the expulsion of those, uh, or those, you know, requiring uh, Chinese journalists in the U.S. to uh, register as foreign agents that he didn't think that it would lead to the, um, those expulsions of Western journalists uh, in China. So he's like never uh, said he got anything wrong. And so that was pretty interesting that he admitted that on a call with uh, you know, the top editors or publishers of the three major papers that post the Times and the Journal. Uh, and they, it was on a track where they basically kind of forgot that we had a coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, happening in the states and around the world. Um, they just, the timing was very poor. Uh, maybe, you know, do it after this is all over if you really want to kind of poke the bear. But uh, this was just incredibly, uh, you know, ill thought by the government because, um, you know, we need accurate information from China. Uh, and, you know, oftentimes what reporters write on foreign countries is actually better. Uh, than the intelligence agents that we have in those countries and so uh, and what they produce which is for a very limited audience and so uh, you know the U.S. government is kind of shooting itself in the foot uh, in terms of actually holding China accountable. Mm -hmm.